The first part of the fractional reasoning program is the fractional reasoning assessment. This assessment is designed to assess a wide range of skills from multiple grade levels across the curriculum. It measures basic skills like the identification of fractions from third grade all the way up through multiplying and dividing fractions up to sixth grade. After the assessment is completed, the progress monitoring section is filled out. This will allow teachers to pinpoint where the breakdown in curriculum is for each student and give them the essential data that they need for their instruction. This data will allow teachers to create custom target skills. Once a teacher has the data that they need from the assessment, the next phase of the program begins, making data-based decisions for instruction and focusing on the specific skills that need to be addressed. Every skill has a lesson card that goes along with the skill in depth. The lesson card breaks down each skill into teachable components and every card has activities that are designed to address the deficiencies that the assessment revealed. Every activity has a short video that's less than four minutes long that shows teachers how to do each lesson. Once the activities have been completed, there is a short independent assignment that can be used as a formative assessment to give teachers fresh data to use each day so they can plan their lessons for the following day. So this is what the fractional reasoning program would look like in practice, okay? So this is TJ, and we're going to see a lot of him in a little bit. We're going to go through this entire assessment with him and some other students, okay? But these are the results of his assessment, and the assessment's broken into four domains. Domain 1, Domain 2, Domain 3, and Domain 4. We're not going to worry about what those domains are right now because we're going to learn about what each one is. But from looking at this, it's really obvious. We can pinpoint exactly where his breakdown in curriculum was, where he was able to get 100% on domain one. And as soon as we got into to domain two, that's where his breakdown was. So we would go ahead and say, all right, we're gonna work on domain two. And then if you see, there's four skills that make up domain two. And obviously we're gonna start at the first one, which is skill seven. So what we would do, we would go to the instructional materials and pull up skill seven. And what skill seven has to do with is comparing fractions with the same denominator. So he had some misconceptions. This was a really hard skill for him. And the skill card is going to have some tips, right? Your teaching points, what you really want to emphasize when you teach. It's going to have some tips too. It's also going to go over some common misconceptions that students have. And then it says there's some formative assessments that you can give as well. So you'll go through, you know, the skill card is more for you for your preparation for the lesson. And then with every skill, there are activities, right? Some skills may have multiple activities, some may just have one. But you'll go ahead, you'll pull up the activity, it'll tell you what you're supposed to do. There's a little video right there. You click on that video, it's gonna show you how to use that lesson mat and what you're supposed to do with it, okay? And then after you're done with the activity, you'll go ahead and you'll go to the, there is an independent assignment that it's supposed to go with every time you do a lesson with students, that they'll have sort of a, a practice piece that you'll be able to use as a formative assessment. And please take a look at this. So this says skill seven, activity one. There isn't just one type of independent assignment for skill seven, activity one. Don't think it's like, okay, skill seven is one day and that's all we're gonna do. Skill seven could take one day, it could take one week, it could take two weeks, depending on what the student. So there says skill seven, activity one. There's one type of assessment here where it's assessing a very concrete um, understanding of what, what of comparing fractions with like denominators. If you take a look, another assessment or independent assignment where it's more abstract, it provides a number line, students are supposed to plot where, the, where they go and then they're supposed to make their comparisons. And if you take a look, there's another skill seven activity independent assignment where it's just the comparing of fractions where they'll be focusing exclusively on what you're teaching about, focusing in on the numerator and so on. So even within each skill and each activity, there's layers of sophistication. And when you go through those activities, there's always gonna be a part where it's, it teaches or something in the concrete and tries to go to representation and the work its way to the abstract. So this is what an intervention would look like for a student who has a deficit in skill number seven, which is comparing fractions with like denominators.